Powder Blender is a remarkable, non-toxic, archival and inert solution that speeds colored pencil application by a factor of at least 5. It allows artists to create seamless and stroke-free coverage of large areas. It is controllable, erasable and adjustable. Powder Blender can be considered as a dry lubricant specifically designed for use with the colored pencil medium. It allows colored pencil particles to move about freely on the working surface. Powder Blender comes in a round container with a sifter for ease of use. To begin, remove the shrink wrap. Pull the small tab to remove the protective plastic from the sifter. Close the lid of the container and shake it a little. This will bring a small portion of powdered blender into the sifter without contaminating the rest of it. Powder blender has no color and is practically undetectable even when applied onto a dark or black surface. It will not affect already established colors or values. It blends effortlessly with any sponge applicator or brush. Powder Blender performs best on toothy, non-absorbent surfaces such as sanded papers or acrylic gessos. For maximum blended ability with colored pencils, apply a small amount of Powder Blender to the surface first. Follow with light application of colored pencils. Powder Blender performs excellently with so-called oil-based and wax-based colored pencil types. Make sure not to press too hard as this pushes the colored pencil medium deeper into the surface and makes the blending process more difficult. With a sponge applicator or a brush, apply a small amount of powder blender and even out your colored pencil layer. Powder Blender allows you to create the most even and stroke-free coverage of the surface using a minimum amount of colored pencil medium without the constant sharpening normally required. With a few preliminary light coats of ACP Final or Textured Fixative, Powder Blender can also be effective on traditional cotton-based papers such as Stonehenge. After the paper surface is completely dry, it becomes less absorbent. Then you can continue with a light layer of Powder Blender. Apply colored pencil medium lightly to ensure that your strokes are not embedded too deeply into the fiber of the paper. Blend your strokes with a sponge applicator or brush and a small amount of powder blender. Apply a small amount of powder blender to the surface first. Lightly layer the colors that you want to blend side by side.
Use a small amount of powder blender and the sponge applicator to blend them together and create a new color. Begin by applying a small amount of powder blender to the surface. Then layer the colors you wish to transition lightly side by side. Blend only their adjacent areas with a small amount of powder blender. Apply a small amount of powder blender to the surface first. Follow with a light application of colored pencil. Blend the applied pencil with a small amount of powder blender using a sponge applicator or brush. Erase, adjust and correct the applied color with mountain putty. Blend the edges of the erasure if necessary. Begin by applying a small amount of powder blender to the surface. Follow with light colored pencil application, then blend it with powder blender. Spray applied and blended colored pencil with a couple of light coats of ACP Final or Textured Fixative. This will seal the application and keep it from smearing. After the surface completely dries, follow with another light coat of powder blender and then continue with new colored pencil layers. Blend the further with powder blender. Repeat the process until you reach the desired value. To keep the pencil's application from smearing, spray it at the end with a couple additional coats of ACP textured or final fixative.
Powder Blender has been an essential tool in creating large stroke-free backgrounds as well as skin tones, such as you can see in this portrait, Mary Ashlyn. The process is the same. First apply a light layer of Powder Blender to the background, then follow with a light application of colored pencil. Blend the applied pencil with a small amount of powder blender, using a sponge applicator, a brush, or just your finger protected by a cot. All necessary erasures and corrections can be made effortlessly using mountain putty. Darken values as needed by adding additional layers of colored pencil and blending them again with powder blender. When finished, secure a pencil application with a couple of light layers of ACP Final or textured fixative. 